Good morning, class. This is Mr. Reynolds. Um, first of all, I wanted to start off by um, clearing up something that we did the other day when you watched the, um, uh, the video lab of the sulfuric acid drying out the uh, table sugar. And we did it in the fume hood and made that, uh, that dried out black mass of just carbon that was left. And I used some incorrect terminology there. And in doing that, we're gonna get into a discussion on energy sum, okay? Uh, energy basically is the ability to do work, okay? Um, and there's a lot of different forms of energy that we'll see in a second. Um, most of them are classified as either kinetic energy, which is energy in motion, energy in motion, movement. Um, if someone is doing, uh, getting like a, a, a phys ed degree, they'll, they'll take a class in kinesiology, which is the study of movement, okay? Other form of energy is potential energy, which basically is energy at rest or stored energy. And uh, this kind of applies to us a lot in chemistry. We're talking about uh, between these bonds, when we make these bonds of shared electrons, like between carbon atoms especially, there's a tremendous amount of energy in here, lots of stored energy that if we break these bonds, we get some, um, some mushroom clouds, some, some atomic weapons are created from this, okay? So like we said, between the bonds of different atoms where atoms are being shared, lots and lots and lots of energy, okay? Next slide. Um, energy some things about energy it's um it can there's four things here it can exist in many forms as you'll see in the next slide okay um it can be moved from one object to another it can be moved from one object to another. So it can be transferred from one object to another one, okay? A third thing, uh, energy can change forms. So it can change, it can change from one form of energy to another. Okay. And again, you'll see a bunch of those possibilities on the next page. Okay. And fourth and last thing, this is a huge deal. This is uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed. We cannot create or destroy it, okay? But we can, we can't create or destroy it, but we can uh, change it from one form to another. Um, uh, if uh, this second one, if, if you put your hand on a cold window, we have some energy lost, some, uh, some warmth, some thermal warm energy from your hand going into the window, okay? Um, Okay, next slide. This is a lot of different forms of it. So we saw that energy is the ability to do work and we can break it down into two types. Hey, energy that's moving, energy of movement, or some stored energy, potential energy, okay? And a lot of different types that they mentioned here, thermal, mechanical, electrical, et cetera, et cetera, light energy, nuclear energy um, is something that we're looking at, chemical energy, okay? Um, what I want to clarify was the term that I use for thermal energy. And thermal is uh, basically, you see here, basically heat, okay? Um, so in energy, uh, let's do one type, let's say, okay, chemical energy. We just want to get terminology correct on this. Uh, if I'm talking about chemical energy, I might refer to um, if it's if it's something that requires energy, to, like like we do. We we have to eat. Okay, 
we have um, we have endergonic chemical reactions. Endergonic is a term used when we're talking about chemical energy. Endergonic means energy taken in. We must eat. We must take in foods, and we break that down and get that energy out of it. And then we make our own. For, we we make our own chemical compounds, basically, where we join things together, and we are storing pretty much in the form of sugar and fats, where we are storing a tremendous amount of energy between these as these electrons are being shared. Lots and lots and lots and lots of energy. Okay, we can't do that unless we eat. An uh, interesting thing is that. Um, Basically, our sugar stores, we love to burn glucose, and our glucose stores are gone. They're depleted in 24 hours if we can't, if we're not eating something. Okay, If we don't re reform those, they're gone. So a lot of people have been sick and, and barfing, and they haven't been able to eat for over a day. Well, you know, the, the sugar stores are gone, <clears throat> and then we're pretty much primarily burning fats. Um, Okay, uh, the opposite of this, if it's energy given off reaction, it's exergonic, okay? So these are two terms that are used when we're talking about chemical energy, endergonic and exergonic. Ender and energy and exergonic energy given off, okay? Last slide. Um, again, if we're talking about a different form of energy, in this time heat or thermal energy, talk about thermal energy terminology the terminology that we use is endothermic and this is what I think I said in the video which was wrong when I went back and looked at it I thought man uh, I must have been nervous it's the first film that I did so endothermic again thermal is heat so this is this is energy in okay the reaction that we saw gave off a lot of heat energy so that was an exothermic reaction exothermic heat given off reaction okay we're done